This is by far the most tedious part of this bus build thus far. Rolling out this sound bender. I tell ya, it's no fun. It's no fun. This was today's work. Uh, we're about all done. I'll let you guys take a gander. I know I showed you most of it. But we are, like you gotta, it's, you have to push down so hard. Like bro, I'm tired. Really tired. I'm not really, it, I mean, I'm really tired. It's just, it's tiring. Like, Cause you gotta make sure it's smushed. So you gotta apply like, I'm applying all my weight. And I want it to be smashed down good. Cause like, you're not gonna pay all this money for this stuff and then not apply it correctly. So, I'm, you know. Yeah, I wanna just make sure it's done. To the best of my abilities, or what? Or what? Let's see. See, I added it to this back window out here for the garage as well, but let's see it. She's complete. All of her sound dinner. We clearly ran out in that section. <laughs> but that's just half of the bathroom and half the kitchen where it's not at. That's part of the bathroom, part of the kitchen. Oh well, I'm not triple. And then, yep, that's that. Hurry, well, need some. Oh, I thought, I thought I saw something crawling. I was like, what the heck? Peace. So, just a quick update from the bus conversion build. All right, so we've got all the, of course, here. <laughs> <Duh. laughs> We've got the subfloor down, we've got the kill mat on the walls, which is sound deadening insulation. And uh, the next project is going to be the front door, the doors that, you know, open, the bus doors. Going to make them into swing doors that operate independent, like operate by themselves. And then, or I'm going to do the compost toilet. I already got the wood for that. Those are the next two things on the market for this tier conversion. Hey family, so forgive me, I'm gonna do this from far away because one, I look a mess, two, OMG, I recorded this, and you know how some things happen, um, I think I said it in another video, or it's gonna be the one that posts after this video, but again, I deleted footage, so now, <laughs> This part of the video that's gonna be with the other part that just came before it is literally like a month apart <laughs> It's so funny, but anyway Because I'm telling you this because it ties into that video um, I was just showing you guys about the kill mat and I'm telling you I'm about to do the toilet and whatnot but Anyway back to the bus so uh, I was doing a little tour around the outside of the bus which that footage is actually not on there either because within that video it was deleted but anyway and i'm not home i'm actually in ba i don't know if this upside you know backwards whatever ba where I'm from originally anyway visiting family so i don't have the bus to show you because i was going to show you the outside how the kill mat look through the window from the outside it's completely black it's so beautiful i absolutely love it um it's doing its job anyhow so about the bus i was telling y'all about you know um the insurance so you know most people say like it takes them like eight months to get like to convert their insurance over to rv insurance and everything let me tell you the blessing that a lot put on me so I, when I first got the bus back in May, I went to add it to my insurance and I was trying to add it as a shuttle bus because that's what it is, a shuttle bus. Or I said a cutaway van because it, it says on there, cutaway van, but you know, it's a shuttle bus. So anyhow, I was like, yeah, it's for personal use. It's not commercial. You know, it's personal use. I'm not trying to make any money. How you doing there? Not trying to make any, doing good. Um. Not trying to make any money out of it so you know 
yeah, let me, you know, just trying to add it. They were like, oh, we, my insurance company was like, oh, no, we don't do that because of the weight of the vehicle. They were like, you're going to have to go to um, the other department. Switch me to the other department. They were just like, yeah, no, nah, we don't do that. So I was like, <laughs> okay. And so called a few other places. They were like, no, no, no. Waited a while. Waited like two months or whatever. And then finally was like, because, you know, I was just like kind of over it right then. So I started calling again, still trying to get shuttle bus insurance. And so this one guy called me back and was basically like, oh, like a conversion. I'm like, no, like I'm not about to put you all in my business because one is not technically converted yet. So no, I can't get a conversion. No, 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 no. So he was like, oh, I can't help you. And I was like, okay, well, whatever, bye. I, that, the thing is, I didn't call him. You know how you put your information in and they'll call you. Where are these fine little bumps? I need to figure out what's going on with me. This is, this is not normal. <laughs> yeah, I'm not dying. Anyway, so I was like, you know what? Let me stop trying to change what's on the title. Because the title actually says RV. It says motorhome. So I was like, let me just read what's on the title and get this insurance. So I called the motorhome, I called the RV department of my regular, my insurance. And I just gave them all the information that was on the title and was like, well, it says RV, you know, RV, motorhome. Like literally, I read verbatim. Five minutes, it had my insurance, bro. My insurance is $270 a year. Uh, paid the taxes on it for the life of it. $245. And I got to pay taxes on it again. I said, what the? I said, oh my God. Uh, these are called blessings because the church had already, the church had to, had, I don't know if they bought it like that, but when I got it from the church, it had already been registered as an RV. So I never have to get it changed to an RV it's already registered that way. So I was like, oh my, alhamdulillah. Like what? I'm, I was about to mess up my blessing trying to go off what I'm looking at rather than what I'm reading on the paper. No, what, what's on the paper? What, do you, what does your legal document say? That's, then stop trying to change that. I said, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I wanted to tell you that, inshallah, you know, y'all come up on some good blessings too. That y'all um, title changes are easy for you. Getting insurance is easy for you. I mean, because that truly was a blessing. Man, see if you can get something from a church. Because, you know, church is apparently about their life. But that was it. That's what needed to go into this video. And, uh, yeah, bye.